What's up, Sim Racers? It's Larry TJR Sim here, and today I want to go over some game settings of Forza Motorsports versus Gran Turismo 7. That's right, Gran Turismo 7 is playable with the D Box. Uh, obviously, you, most playable with using a uh, compatible wheel for PlayStation, uh, but you can also play with it with a controller, controller like I have, just to do some testing because I don't have a compatible wheel anymore for uh for for sony playstation but it begs the question like hmm should i get a compatible wheel just to play gran turismo <laughs> and is it good enough to uh handle you know the pc gaming like my direct drive wheel that i have now the accuforce i don't know but this is just some questions i want to let we can dive into and answer so all right let's get started So carrying on here, so just comparing the uh, Forza Motorsport motion code with Gran Turismo 7 motion code. <clears throat> and if you're interested in how many games are actually available on here, uh, here I'll just run through the list just really uh, slowly. You can do a screenshot for each one to cover them all. So, But you got all your popular ones, ACC, WRC, for all the Forzas. Gran Turismo uh, is the only one that's console. The rest of them are all PC. Your project cars, your R-Factor, your grids, uh, some flight games, BMG, that's popular, Autumn Blista 1. Your Dirt Series, uh, your, your uh, F1 series, all of them, all the way to 2023. Uh, some more flight sims. And... Let's see your grid series, grid two in 2019, grid legend, GT legends. Let me see. Uh, I racing, of course, your some cart games. And let me see what else. Some of the need for speed games here as well. Some old ones like Race 07. Yeah, R Factor, R Factor 1 and 2, of course. Test Drive Unlimited. Track Mania Turbo, that's cool. Uh, and then your your World Rally Championships as well. And see your X Plane and even WRC Generation, which was last last year's game as well. So a very expansive list there, but just covering it quickly for you because most people don't. Uh, you won't find all these game lists on the website. So there you go. So jumping into the differences here again uh, with Gran Turismo Seven, it, it's it's very it's very decent feeling, right? It's very decent feeling, but it's not as immersive feeling as Forza uh, 8 is, just right off the bat. Um, you have your general motion covering your, your front to right, which is, you know, your under braking and acceleration, your left to right for turning, and your up and down for your, your bumps and humps in the road, right? Your engine vibration, of course, uh, your suspension effects all the way, you know, your four four wheel independent suspension. Uh, and your surface texture, which is really good, uh, considering at Gran Turismo, you got to have like a wheel that it has some kind of uh, haptic motor, like the Thrustmaster TGT2 that I had, and then of course the new uh, Logitech Pro wheel has this haptic system built in, and then the new Fanatec wheels that c coming out right now uh, that no one can get a hold of anyways is is uh, having uh, their own version of a haptic system built into their wheel. So I think True Force is what it's called on the Logitech line. So, but yeah, uh, you know, you you can have basically a basic type G923 or something that has their own True Force in it as well, but not implemented as good as the Pro Wheel. But you could have even a G29 or G25 or whatever and play with it and are just a lower end. Um, uh, Fanatec wheel as you as as you want. I mean, it's really only. You know, three varieties, Thrustmaster, Fanatec, and um, Logitech that are console and PC compatible together, right? Uh, but if you want a direct drive uh, version of it, you can only get it from the Logitech and the uh, Fanatec. So those are the two really main competitors right now. Thrustmaster doesn't have a console-ready direct drive yet. They just have a PC. So they're very slow to the uh, process, unfortunately, which is pretty much on par for Thrustmaster, I think. But um, they... Um, the differences you really get between these two 
here is the skid vibration here and the rumble strip vibration. Now rumble strips on Gran Turismo is covered under suspensions, although it's really harsh. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really intensive. And uh, so you really have to turn down your suspension settings to not make that so abrupt to you and ridiculous feeling and, uh, and, and really throwing you off on your driving line because it's, it's so <laughs> crazy. Uh, it, but then if you turn it down too low, you don't feel the rest of your independent suspension quite as well as you'd probably want to, or at least not as well as I want to. Where Forza divides it out. So I can turn the, the, the rumble strips down really low to where I want them or really high. And it's totally independent of, of what I, I have going on with the surface texture and the suspension effect as well. So uh, this one's independent. The suspension and surface texture is independent of each other as well here. So, but uh, yeah, mainly the rumble strip is not included with suspension effects here. So it's a lot better on the Forza line that is. Now the um, other one that's really nice to have is the skid vibration on Forza. So this is uh, anytime your tires are sliding around, so you're understeering or oversteering on your car. Uh, heck, even if you bump over a curb and your your right tire is is uh, skipping across the pavement in a turn, you feel that. Even when you catch a second gear scratch on some of these cars and one tire spins up because you don't have have a lock differential, you feel that in the in the skid vibration. It's freaking cool, man but uh it's uh, very enjoyable but you don't have that effect at all in in forza 7 which is a pity and i would i don't know why maybe d box hasn't been able to extract that type of information out of it maybe it's there i don't know i'm not a computer programmer for that uh but yeah it would be nice if some of those effects got added as well uh to to the uh, gran turismo game maybe the code isn't written in a way to, that they can extract it easy but I am thankful that they actually was able to extract some kind of motion code out of it because, man, Gran Turismo 7, even with a controller, which is ridiculous to play with with a motion sim, is, is still way way more fun than without having motion, even with a controller, I find. Now, obviously, if I had a, uh, a, a wheel, then uh, you'd feel more connected to your sim rig, and maybe these settings might not be quite as abrupt to you when you're actually holding on to a physical wheel that's attached to your rig, right? But anyway, uh, and you'll notice some of these settings are pretty aggressive here. And that's because with the global parameters, I had to set it down to 50. And I'll explain that now. And I set this for, again, a, a controller setting because I'm not physically holding on to a, a wheel itself to keep myself balanced, you know, within my sim rig. So I did have to turn down the, you know, the overall gain to where it won't be so ridiculous. But what I found is that uh, it was better to turn the main level down to 50% and then adjust the individual cues here up high and it made it not so ridiculous, but normally I would keep my global parameters at hundred and, um, and then I would have these down to like 40% or, or less. Right. But what I found was even these down to like 5% it didn't have much effect. There was so much, uh, feedback coming to this, to this motion rig even with these settings that it was oversaturated, like the code that was coming from them was oversaturated. And so the only way I could control it to make it drivable was, was uh, put it down to like 50% and then adjust this code to where I really wanted it, uh, wanted to feel like the front and front and rear dive and stuff, right? In this case, I ended up with 60%. And uh, yeah, it felt really good at these settings here. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. I think there's some better better work to be done here from the D-Box team. Uh, maybe they can work with Gran Turismo, uh, Polyphony rather that is, and, and get some more decent code here uh, for the game. But right now it's not as it's not on par with the Forza series. So, uh, and with that said, you know if you are someone that's you know more importantly you're someone that's thinking about getting a a D-Box, you know, and you want to know what kind of games you you, you can play on PC and maybe console. Well, you know, I gave you the list here. And then console, the only console game you can play is Gran Turismo, physically with the Gran Turismo, or with your PlayStation 5. And then everything that's Forza, which is exclusive to Xbox, is on PC anyways. And so you're covered there if you like all the Forza series, because uh, D-Box covers it. But the additional one of this Gran Turismo is pretty, pretty, pretty cool that they actually added that, so. Uh, maybe in the future I'll get a direct drive uh, wheel that is compatible with uh, Gran Turismo or with PlayStation 5. 
maybe not. We'll see in the future. So, um, but yeah, that's it. Just a quick rundown of the differences. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or, or further questions for me, leave your comments below and, uh, yeah, do my best to answer them for you. So until next time, I'll see you on the track. I'm out. Thank you.